A controversial bill which would let Oklahoma's religious institutions have a piece of your taxpayer dollars is a step closer to becoming law. News 4's Capitol Bureau Chief Nick Camper was there for the hours-long debate today. He joins us now live. Nick, what's the latest? Yeah, the author of the bill, Republican John Eccles, says that the state cannot discriminate solely based on religious affiliation or religious character when it comes to receiving state tax dollars through benefits or programs. Democrats say, however, that if this bill becomes law, it's going to open the door for state-sponsored religious charter schools. It's the money. It's the money. What changes in the bill is the money. It's the funding. The Oklahoma Religious Freedom Act would bar discrimination solely based on religious character or affiliation when it comes to getting tax dollars through state programs. I'm not saying with money doesn't come strings, with money should come strings. Republican Representative John Eccles, who wrote the bill, stresses this proposal does not specifically allow for state-sponsored religious charter schools, something Democrats say will happen once the bill passes. It's a substantial burden on the people of Oklahoma to force them to pay for the religious activities of a religious sponsored school, turning Monday school into Sunday school. Democrats argue the bill isn't necessary. Discrimination against religious institutions does not happen in Oklahoma. Eccles admits he doesn't have current examples of religious discrimination in Oklahoma, but says this proposed law provides future protection against ideas like removing tax-exempt status for churches. Replace the word gender, replace religion with the word gender in the bill. Replace the word sex, religion with the word sex in the bill. And this would be unthinkable to have a two-hour debate over. So a few months ago, the Attorney General Gentner Drummond retracted an opinion from his predecessor that would have allowed for state-funded charter schools, religious charter schools. Current AG says that idea does not align with the state's constitution. Eccles did bring that up today. He acknowledged that decision and says that it does not have an impact on his bill that he was proposing today. This bill now goes to the governor's desk. He will have a decision on whether to sign it or not. Reporting live here at the Capitol, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4.